Hey, Black Cat Studio here. I'm here today with Pepino in Vampire Survivors. This is a really fun and weird character. I've just started in level two, so I'll show you what's, what it's all about. Start with the Soul Eater, which is the upgraded garlic. And you have a very, very high magnet range and a very, very low movement speed range. As, as you can see, this is the speed that I move at. I've selected the uh, Bloody Astronomia hero card because it scales its damage based on your magnet range. And as you can see from this character, my magnet range is ridiculous. I've just had it set to three weapons right now, just to keep things simple. I'm focusing on increasing the pickup range first because the pickup range scales my damage. As you can see, my pickup range is now bigger than the screen. It's a trade-off for having no movement speed. This is very much an AFK character. Things will get harder over time, but generally this character is really good for just farming levels, experience, just whatever you want really. Pair basically any character with this, and it will power them up. And also there's bosses, which just get eradicated by your Soul Eater, because the Soul Eater is actually really quite strong. Just look at how it gathers XP. I'm 4 minutes in at level 21 already. This is a character that's really good actually to stack curse on, because you can generally kill anything you're, that's thrown at you. I'm gonna add some nice luck in too where I can. If I get better treasure chests. More curse. Get more things coming on the screen. Damage. You know what? Actually, I'm gonna take the sound of water. It'll be a good mix of what I have. Oh, there's another boss, bottom left. It's going to die about... now. Yep. <laughs> eh, I shall slowly, slowly move over to it. Eh, no, give me, give me the chest, give me the chest! Okay. <laughs> I shall move left very slowly. Because technically, if I don't move, I'm never going to find any candelabras. It'd be kind of nice to have some candelabras and break effects. Oh, I am a tree with a flamethrower. This not weird at all. Eh. I can't reach anything. I can't reach anything because I'm so slow. Oh, well, that makes it even harder to reach things. <laughs> eh, I'm coming to get you. I'm coming. I'm gonna get you. I will get to that piano in several minutes from now, but I will get there. At the end of this video, I will be explaining how to unlock Pepino. Got a bit of a... They got a bit of a weird unlock method. Ooh. Oh no. Oh no, this is gonna take a while. Must return for chest. Eh. Give me the chest. Get me. Yay! Oh wow, I am already at Limit Break. Nine minutes in. For those who aren't familiar, Limit Break is uh, an ability you get later on where you can add small statistical increases to your various weapons once you've run out of other things to level. Well, yes, I'd love more area. I want my Soul Eater to grow bigger. <laughs> I feel like this is the XP version of photosynthesizing. Oh. Ow. 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 Ah, I died. Good. I'm getting worried for a second. Ah yes, it is the mana na na ja 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 My slow things. Can I get behind the piano? That would be stupid. No, I can't. <laughs> I was wondering if I could hide behind there. Ah yes, come into my soul leader. Oh, wait, where did that chest come from? That's not super best still alive. Uh. Well, okay. I guess I'll take the chest. Here, card. Eh. Yeah, mate. Eh. Eh. Okay. <laughs> so I can suck everything to me on the level if I want. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Continuously changing area. <laughs> Oh, that would get ridiculous very quickly. But no. 
Okay, so this reflects damage with armor, and I actually have plus 10 armor, which is a ridiculous amount. So I'm going to pick Divine Bloodline. And yes, now I shall return to my sp- oh, no. Where, where did this chest come from? Where do- where did chests come from? I'll make a baby chest. Okay, I've set it to always random, so it will now just auto limit break. And you now have a fully AFK character now. I mean, you can pick up the chest if you want, but like, that boss is gonna get shredded in a second. Yep. You can basically just sit like this forever now. This is a great way to farm gold, because all these chests now are just gold. Since I have high luck, they have a high chance of being triples and quintuples. Hi, Medusa. Yeah, you're not doing very well, are you? Are you stuck on a piano? Cool, gold. Eh. Okay, 250. 324. I shall slowly grab this other chest. Cool, and this other chest. This is like the perfect gold farming method. 334. 329. I'm going to sit on my pianos. Right here, yep. There, right on the stool. Good. I am now... Piano Tree. I'm just imagining I'm playing some of the instruments in the background on this piano. Just... Yeah. Ooh, 900 gold. That was a nice big one. My range is huge, so it's like just the very, very bottom left and bottom right that have XP just sitting in there sometimes. Ah! A stage boss! What will win? An Elder Lich, a Master of the Dark Arts, or a tree with a piano? That's yeah, because I of health. Oh! Cool! That chest came right to me! None of these are actually amazing. Yeah, I think I'll pick this one, even though I'm not really moving around too much. That can, I guess I can just, like... Spam. Just spam, like, left and right. You will eventually... Get the nice little bonus. I guess I'll just spam things when there's a boss nearby. Do extra damage. Yes. I spam. Give me. Give me the chest. Eh. I suddenly wish I took the wings. Wow, 191. That was a really shitty chest. Okay, just want to make sure I'm centered on the stool. I'm getting peak stoolage. Now for the true test. Free versus stage boss, ow. Well, okay. So, that sucked. Eh, I shall walk slightly south. Eh, no! No! Oh no. Okay, so, might need a defensive item of some sort. <laughs> However, I did bring in 5,000 gold doing that, so it's still amazing. Also, the Bloody Astronomia, the uh, tarot card I picked first, most damage of every weapon. <laughs> it is such a good tarot card for this character because, again, it scales on magnet range, and I am nothing but magnet range. So, Pepino is unlocked in a very specific way. It's one of the secrets. This is the unlock method, so if you don't want to know, Remember to like, comment, and subscribe, and then click off the video so that you can't <laughs> so you can't see the unlock method if you don't want to know yet. You need to be a good boy in Il Mois. Now, the good boy is Osol here, has flowers, and Il Mois, this one. As you level up the Celestial Dusting, which is the flowers that are behind Osol, it will eventually be able to heal the plants in this area. Usually, the plants in this area would damage you, but the secret synergy here is that the plants won't hurt Osol, and Osol can heal the plants. Plants do not need to be damaged for you to heal them, but over time, as you heal up the plants more and more, you will eventually be able to access Pepino if you reach the threshold of how much healing you need to do. And it's a fair bit of healing, so you need to keep going for a while. But if you run around lots, you heal lots with the good boy, we'll get Pepino. You can see baby Pepino's here. Heal his friends, and then he decides to be your friend because he wants to be friends with the good boy. 
Thank you all for watching today. Remember to like, comment, and subscribe. It really helps me. And I hope I'll see you all in the next video.